Alright, hello guys, today we're going to be talking about a possible Arctic outbreak that's going to extend from the 2nd of March all the way until about the 5th of March, or maybe even beyond that. We can't really tell what the end date is, but we do know that it's going to start making its way in around the 2nd of March. Now, we're going to be talking about this as we go through some of the model runs. We're going to be starting with the European and then moving over to the GFS towards the end of the video. You can see this is actually... Uh, 12z so this is kind of morning times of friday march 1st that's my birthday actually uh and you can see there's still some warm temperatures along that southeast region of the united states but really the cold air is starting to move in towards the eastern united states by this point but we're going to move on to 12z uh of march 4th so this is kind of the morning of march 4th and you can see that the cold has really moved into all of the eastern united states very very cold temperatures from montana down through wyoming colorado Oklahoma, Texas, Kansas, Nebraska, Iowa, Missouri, the Dakotas, portions of Minnesota and uh, I Iowa as well. I don't know if I mentioned Iowa. But yeah, very, very cold temperatures. This model is showing negative 30 degrees uh, below, below average, so very, very cold temperatures. Now we're going to go ahead and move on to the ensemble model just to see if we do have support we like to see this really show the same thing as as the model itself shows so this is the european ensemble and you can see it does show the same thing as the european model this kind of kind of bulks up the confidence that we have in this outlook now we're going to be moving on to our gfs model so we're going to be starting out today just so you can see what these conditions are like we do have a little bit of an outbreak going on uh from montana down through wyoming uh, into nebraska the dakotas uh, Minnesota, Wisconsin, Iowa. Those areas are very cold right now. But we are going to move on to 6Z March 1st. And you can see this is very similar to what the European was showing. Warm southeast, warm southwest. Cold is starting to move into the central United States, though, and Great Lakes region is as well. We are going to move on to the second. And you can see it's starting to make its progression here and getting colder and colder and colder. Min or Montana, Minnesota, the Dakotas, Nebraska, Iowa were all very cold by this point, as well as Wyoming. Uh, and, and then we're going to move on to the fourth, and you can see this is when the cold becomes widespread, just like what the European showed. Uh, very cold temperatures there for the south, for the north central United States, but really the southeast, south central, northeastern United States. We're all kind of below average by this point. And I'm going to show you here that we do have ensemble support as well for the GFS model. This is the GEFS, which is the GFS ensemble model, and this does show a very 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 similar thing anyway guys i hope you enjoyed this video and i hope to see you in the next video please subscribe for similar videos to this also weekly forecasts monthly forecasts seasonal forecasts and also uh forecasts for storms that are happening around the united states anyway guys i'll see you in the next video